and pregnant about this download, y'all. I don't know why it is so funny to me, the baby. I don't know what's going on, but ain't no sunshine when she go. I'm going to tell you right now. Ain't no sunshine when she go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody cannot leave someone the hell alone. They can't let them go. They said, only darkness every day. <laughs> Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. This house just say no home. Anytime she goes away. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so I can't leave her alone. Cause ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's like, oh, damn, I can't. I got to. So we're going to get into this message and see what's up. Clearing on this message is take on what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate every last one of you. Everybody. Who is some other fucking body. God, I thank you, Jesus, I thank you. Angels and ancestors of the most high with your white light. I thank you. Please, God, protect us as we go into the tarot and allow me to channel clear and honest messages from whomever may come across this message. What do they need to know and what do they need to hear? And I'm not laughing, like, for, I'm not laughing for those of you who are like, you know what I mean? You know, people be like, oh, I ain't laughing at nobody. I'm just, you know, I'm laughing. Because the motherfuckers like, I dare. I can't leave you alone. Shit, I'm trying. But somebody is like, it's taking everything, they hold back, like, god damn, taking everything in them not to go towards this person. Like, somebody know they ought to leave somebody alone, but ain't no sunshine when they gone. You don't have to be a sheep. But, clearing on this message is Holy Spirit. Something about somebody being a hard ass at work. Like this person, like, yeah, they're fucking ass. They're, they're. I'm about to book, get shit done, and get it done right, get it done fast, and hurry the fuck up, and they don't play no motherfucking games, and they can get on your motherfucking nerves, and hold up, motherfucker, I don't work for you. Somebody could be like, fuck this job and that motherfucking paycheck. I don't got to deal with this shit. My man got two jobs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, at my man got two. Look, I ain't got to deal with this shit. Look, somebody. Oh, I love that. I love That's like my favorite. My sister cannot stand. Everybody hates Chris. She feels like it's just. Look, we ain't going to get into that. You know. You know. But uh, she cannot stand it. But. That shit is funny to me. And when that lady used to tell them people she ain't got to deal with this shit because her husband this and that and that, somebody could definitely be talking about how God, what type of God they got. All right. Do you know who the fuck I am? Like, <laughs> do you know who the fuck I am? Like we can go, we can handle this the the, the 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 decent way, or we can go this, we can do this the hard way. It's it's up to you. But um, yeah, let's get into this message. I'm clearing out this messages. They can't leave them alone. I can't leave them alone. Uh 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 that thing with the dumb boy turning me on. Okay, uh, we have here the high priestess three of wands, nine of pentacles coming out with the star card at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's essence, their very essence, energy, and what they embody is what engulfs this person, all right? Your voice, your precious voice, that shit turns them on. Something about to the max, somebody's name could actually be Max or Maxwell. Is 
today so let me stop i don't know why but this message is making me giggle y'all clearing on this message is holy spirit clarify the high priestess something about secret you know you are the dude somebody could be the secret now or you know the secret are you very intuitive? Yeah, we have here the six of wands. <sighs> it's, I'm hearing you know, when I didn't even take your time. Uh -uh, just got the title now. I'm going to tell the whole world to give it up for my girl. What's that? That's Chris Ralph. Yeah. Somebody like you a winner. You deserve it. You deserve it. That's it. Like you, you, you fucking deserve it. You fucking deserve it. Something about somebody not being a secret no more. It's not a secret. Everybody fucking knows that they want you, or you guys want each other, or it's clear that y'all can't leave each other alone. A Virgo, Aries, Pisces could be significant as well as as well as a Leo. And somebody is like, yeah. Something about, um, yeah, with the sacral, heart, chakra, and the third eye. Yeah, it's physical, but it's spiritual, too. And it's like, no sunshine when she's gone. Five of cups at the bottom of the deck, seven of wands. What else are we scared with the six of wands? This house just ain't no home anytime she goes away. Wonder this time where she's gone. Turn on this message for the Six of Wands, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Wonder if that's why the same two cards come out again, y'all. Y'all seen me shuffle that a lot. I shuffled that pretty good. Wonder if she's gone. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, fuck. When she coming back? Or is somebody coming back? You got them coming back. They can't stop. They can't get enough. They, they in love with you. But something about this relationship being a problem. What is the problem? What, what's, what's the problem? A Scorpio could be significant. So I don't know why the Scorpios get a lot of hate. Like people always hating on Scorpios. People be really hating on Scorpio. They do. But I don't know. Like everybody birth chart is different, but it's something about Scorpios. Like they just I don't know. But it's really like they really love you. They really admire you the fuck out of you. Or some, it's something about this relationship being a problem, though. What is this? Holy Spirit with the Five of Cups? Never the Six of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. Something about the something was supposed to be over or moving on. We have your letting go of hatred. And I just was, I don't even know why I started getting on that about like the hate that Scorpios get. I never even read this card like that. It says letting go of hatred, transition. There was supposed to be some type of separation or breakup. Or somebody could be like, have dated and moved on. Okay, you could like have dated someone else and moved on. But it's something about some problems that happened. Some situation happened where something had to end. It like it, it was there was no other choice. 
but the, the, it didn't end. It, sh it should have ended. Or somebody can't end it. Damn. Something about permission. Or property. We have here the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And then the Two of Pentacles. Finding balance. Mm. Something about this is like it being at normal. This relationship. It's not normal. What the fuck is this, y'all? This is not normal, or um, something about the way these people met, or um, wow, somebody is saying what their heart feels. Somebody could be saying what the what is this about somebody saying what their heart feels, Holy Spirit. Something about somebody not, um, you're not tripping or you're not crazy. Like, um, I feel it too. Or what else? Holy Spirit. Somebody finna just start like, this is like just, somebody finna just let it out. Yeah. The emperor at the bottom of the deck with the ten of cups. Like somebody, something's about to happen. Yeah, with the nine of pentacles here. It's like something was supposed to stop. Cause some type of hurdles or obstacles or some type of delays or something happened, all right? And there was something that needed someone's patience, okay? Understanding and understanding, but Something about being relentless or um, unseparable or un unbreakable or Taurus could be significant. Be like, yeah, like very um, hard-headed, okay, bullheaded, hard-headed or bullheaded. Um, but at the same time, It was something that these two hearts were feeding one another that they needed. They needed this. They're still needing this. Somebody still needs you. They still want you. What else, Holy Spirit, with the strength card and not a pentacles? But something has to, like, something was getting better or getting better. It's like some type of heart, something, you guys went through something, you went through something, this person went through something, something is getting better. Or somebody is starting to feel better or do better or know better. And you give somebody a feeling. Because with this water here, air, it's like a balance. We have here water, air, fire, and earth. Something about this connection being abnormal, but a perfect balance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Or it could be seen as abnormal, but a per perfect balance. Wow, the Three of Swords here at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Cups. Some type of apologies and forgiveness had to happen. What else, Holy Spirit, with the Three of Wands? Somebody was. Sounds like somebody was prompted to go another route. And when they did, they just felt lonely and sad. They missed this nine of pentacles. 
It seems like somebody tried to do something different. This could be a green that um, it's not the best time for us to be connected to one another or seeing each other or dating one another or like two people could uh, came to some agreement like, okay, this is the end, but truth be fucking told, they both knew it wasn't the end. Somebody's going to make some type of advance towards someone. They want to make new memories. Yeah, we have here the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is seeing you as a lifetime partner. Yeah, somebody is seeing you as a lifetime partner. Sagittarius, Aries could be significant. Uh, as well as a Virgo. Capricorn. What else about with this Queen of Pentacles here? First Pentacle out here, uh, first Queen out here. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Something about the healing energy that you have, okay? And you could be like um, a homebody. You do go out, but just like you're more of like a homebody. <clears throat> we have here the Eight of Swords coming out. Somebody feels like they just hear their kryptonite. <laughs> That's the best way I can say it. Wow, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're their kryptonite. Yeah, we have your heartbreak, separation, and sorrow with the three of swords, the ace of swords, and the seven of wands. It's something like somebody never wanted to separate or leave or end things. But yeah, that's how I feel like there was something going on in the background. And I'm getting like spirit like doesn't really want me to talk about that. If somebody doesn't want to talk about that. Something about this relationship being a problem. I don't know whose problem it was, but it's right. I don't know whose problem it was. Okay. Yeah, the page of swords here with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck, king of cups. I was just gonna mention the um a Gemini. Yeah. The Gemini could be feeling like they're like, it's almost like, how the fuck am I going to get out of this? Something to do with, yeah. Or somebody could be connected to a Gemini. But we have here the Page of Swords, Two of Cups, and the King of Cups. One more Holy Spirit. I'm just really getting like your love and makes me weak. Somebody just can't control their self. It's like that. You know how the mind controls the body. <laughs> Like you, my mind is telling my own my hands to shuffle these cards. So it's like something about this person's heart <laughs> is controlling their body. It's like, damn, I'm doing this all, all off the strength of how I feel towards this. It's almost like, are you even thinking? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? 
because they're supposed to be leaving this person alone and for why lord lord knows lord knows okay the five of wands as i was supposed to say something's going on there's some type of com competition okay okay yeah there's some type of competition or there could be a uh, 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 ops something's going on okay yeah two of wands here decisions decisions choices i heard allies What's going on in the background, Holy Spirit? We're going to try this one more time. You clearing out his messages, Holy Spirit? Let me have here the Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. This person, this person, this relationship could bring a lot of conflict, okay? Competition, haters, okay? Someone could also feel backstabbed or uh, betrayed. There could be like some type of fight that happened or fight. Somebody's very defensive, but somebody's also um, certain and strong-willed in their like um, their decision making. Or, um, they're firm in it. They're like confident. It's almost like somebody's willing to go to war for someone's heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And somebody doesn't want to place someone at war, or this love could start a war. What is that? We stay on the front lines, and we're still here after the bomb <laughs> drops. We gon' survive. We must get down. That's the star card. The ten of uh -uh. The Ten of Cups with the Queen of Wands. This love can start a war. Straight up 22-20 on the clock. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. This love can start a war. What is this Nine of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Somebody appreci appreciates someone's effort. Something about somebody putting in a little bit more effort. You have here the King of Wands coming out matching the Queen of Wands with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. These two are a matching pair. Yeah, I'm picking. Yeah, it's unusual. <laughs> Something about this is unusual. All right, somebody's rising, okay? Sun sign could be a, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm picking up on um, Sagittarius as well as a Leo. I feel the hierophon at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I don't know why this union is going to hurt some people feeling some place some parts. But I'm getting that. Yeah, the Eight of Cups here with the Hierophant. For some of y'all, somebody's going to be walking away from somebody. And I'm also getting to like what somebody believed. They're finding out was never the truth. Or they're learning a new way. Or they're seeing a new way. They're, they were misinformed. Or they just didn't have enough information. Clarify the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit, please. We have here the Emperor and the uh, Eight of Cups. Oh, shit. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's walking away from somebody, a relationship, breaking up, moving on. Or somebody's... <laughs> Whoa. Somebody was either supposed to walk away from somebody or leave somebody alone. Or somebody is walking away from somebody, letting someone go to go towards someone else. Or somebody is supposed to walk away from somebody or leave somebody alone. Something about this relationship being a problem. Yeah, once again with that seven of wands, five of swords, eight of cups. 
Somebody could have been forbidden to see someone or be with someone. Something about diversity. Clarify the emperor, I was here. The two of yeah, somebody was juggling here. Yeah, but somebody just yeah, somebody had to make a choice and then this choice. Somebody knew that somebody's heart was gonna be broken or there was gonna be some type of anger. Yeah. Some type of emotional pain was gonna happen. Heartbreak or anger. Somebody's like, you can be mad all you want. Because this passion that they have for somebody, is, it's undeniable. And something about it being hidden or a secret. But like the universe is forcing someone to choose. Some of them, somebody walking in and out of someone's life. You're not going to be able to do that. What else, Holy Spirit? Because ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And this house just seems like me. Mm -hmm. She goes away. Yeah. Somebody's in fear of losing someone. Somebody could be having like dreams about someone, but they're like bad dreams. Like, yeah, they're not. Yeah, somebody could be dreaming about someone, but they're like bad dreams. Why is anxiety is through the roof? It's a lot of pressure on them to decide to stop juggling and make a decision. But somebody knows that they are this person's counterpart. They've done everything and they just can't leave this person alone. Somebody could have blocked somebody, ignored somebody, like somebody's done a whole lot to like try to release someone, but at the same time healing, this person keeps being being brought back to them. We have the Empress. With the Emperor. Come on, spirit, I can't make the shit up. I don't even got to. With the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What is that sticking out? The Nine of Wands. Something about them having to protect this union because this union can create a problem. Okay? I feel like this union is... It's divine order, but it's fucking up some type of man-made order. <laughs> okay? Am I saying that right? Like it's divine order, but it's um fucking up what somebody has created. Things are being put back into order. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, with the Seven of Swords. Uh, these divine feminine and divine masculines is coming back together. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles as I split the deck with the Ten of Pentacles. And then nothing these motherfuckers can do about it or stop it. A lot of these divine feminines and divine uh, masculines are coming back to one another. Are coming into union. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before I end this? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Jupiter and the Aquarius. Huh, we have here the Two of Wands with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Create a plan, make a decision. I feel like somebody needs to ask questions as well. We have here the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords. Whatever this decision is, um, stand on that. All right, stand on that, stand on that. And somebody's getting ready to walk out on faith, okay? But stand on it, stand on that faith. Because I feel like whatever happens, it's just important for you to know that you're responsible, okay? And accountability. But um, I'm going to leave it right there with the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. I'm sending you the utmost love and respect, peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, love, and hell of that shit. Peace.